Hello, everybody. Welcome to this week's growth call. My name is Steve Jane, and this is the growth call for BISC for the week of June 6th. Hello to everybody here in the Zoom room, and those of you watching on the web right now, and those of you watching on the web afterward on YouTube. This is our second week using Zoom so far. It seems like it's going well. Uh, I put a link to the, uh, if you want to watch the call on the web without downloading the software, uh, put that on Slack and on um, on Twitter. So uh, should be able to make use of that if you don't want to download Zoom. Uh, feel free to post your comments in the chat or on Slack, and we'll uh, respond as we can. We have these growth calls every week at this time to discuss how the BISC network has been doing and discuss current priorities for the project. A uh, link to the agenda is on GitHub. Uh, let me put that in the chat so you guys can see it. And the agenda for today is uh, we're going to talk, uh, as usual, a market update on how June has been so far. We'll talk about the uh, potential liquidity event in Tokyo, which was proposed by Wiz on Twitter. I'm not sure if he's here or if he'll join, but uh, Felix is here, so maybe we can have a little bit of uh, discussion on how to handle that as optimally as possible. And then, hey, Felix. And then, um, yeah, I guess uh, maybe talk about the protection mechanisms that we are working on and uh, give a quick update on those. Some progress there, so some good news for those of you guys looking forward to that. So, um, yeah, market update. I think June has been exceptionally solid so far. Uh, we have a volume of about 462 Bitcoin just so far in the past six days of June. Uh, I think the most impressive st statistic is probably the daily average Bitcoin volume, which is 77, which is, I mean, head and shoulders above anything we've ever seen so far. Um, so that's very good to see. Um, mostly Monero volume. That's powering that. I think we had a couple of days of over 60 Bitcoin, uh, just Monero alone. So very, uh, very positive news there. I want to, I guess, temper that by saying, acknowledging that uh, you know fiat volume is not quite where where you know where we'd like it to be because of the protections in place. But uh, we'll go over in a couple of minutes. That's uh, hopefully going to be solved soon. So good news with uh, you know. Uh, a little bit of a, of, of a footnote there. Anything, uh, anything to add there? Or uh, regarding volume, um, no, it looks really good. But also uh, on the fiat side, we see lots of uh, trades. Uh, I think especially in the US dollar, Bitcoin, and Euro market. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, yeah, I think it's important to note that um, BISC is fully functional for people who had created accounts before March first. So these account, these protections are in place. Uh, for people only after that and only for, for payment methods that have chargeback risk. Um, so, you know, uh, I know it's not favorable for new users, but, you know, we'll, we'll figure it out uh, hopefully soon. And, yeah, do we want to do, do we want to talk about the, the new release 1.1.2? I forgot to mention that in the agenda. Um, or, uh, yeah, we can, can make it super, super quick. Uh, so, one of the, the main reasons for this release was um, that um, the data stores that uh, we, we got lots of new data on the account age witness and especially on the DAO and um, to make it uh, to make the initial startup for for new users um, uh, quicker and faster um, we decided to do a, a, a quick release um, which updates uh, these data stores uh, and packs it into the client so it's for new users who download the client um, they don't have to synchronize uh, so long until the, the application is fully functional. So that was one reason. But also, uh, um, uh, we, ha we have a couple of uh, really um, good and nice bug fixes in this release as well, um, which are mainly DAO related. So um, if, you, if you start up uh, your client um, with a version before, you might have to, had the issue that the, the client is syncing endlessly. And, and sometimes not even restarts help uh, s solve this problem. That should be fixed now. Um, there was a reason, there was a, some connection uh, troubles uh, with C nodes during startup. And so, so now if you update to 1.1.2, um, 
um, the synchronization after startup before the first block uh, uh, was was added should 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 be quite fast now. So so that was one. I think uh, we had some some minor some small fixes also um, for for the tail uh, operating system and some some other um, bug fixes. But um, yeah, it, it was a kind of a, a smaller release um, before the the big um, payment account signing release. Um, which will be the release where we'll also lift the restrictions again for all the met payment methods. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Yeah. So I guess uh, next topic is this uh, Tokyo meetup. Uh, looks like Wiz on Twitter is looking to uh, hold a meetup in Tokyo in about, I think, two weeks from now. And he would like to have, uh, I don't completely understand, it seems like a digital Satoshi Square in person. Um, I don't know, uh, Felix, do you have any more context over what, what he's looking to do or? Well, first thing was he wanted to join this call. So I don't know if, uh, yeah, if he's got the link for it, but uh, he definitely wanted to be on it. And uh, I did tag him on Twitter. So I, I mean, he, he should yeah, know but, about it. But does he have the call ID for Zoom? I don't know yeah. if it's yeah, yeah. Uh, GitHub issue. Okay, okay, good. Uh, well, what he was saying is that um, he wanted to replicate a Satoshi Square type face-to-face -face marketplace um, but with a proper order book so they uh, so they wanted to use basically the bisque face-to-face order book uh, in Japanese yen to do that and um, I don't know how many people are involved but I told him hey if you can get at least two people to you know do a few trades and maybe a live demo that'd be huge uh, you know that we can show that it works and that's that's all you need to get more people interested and also if it's part of a bigger meetup with loads of people the more the merrier um, and uh, what can we do to help him well first of all help him uh, test it in the days before the meetup so that you know if he's got a couple of volunteers we can do we can find out any bugs or any problems beforehand and Secondly, we can offer some bounties so that you know we can we can attract some people from the Tokyo community uh, to to actually participate in the tests and maybe do a bit more. We can you know play around with the market maker bounty that we mentioned in the past, or or just do a first trade bounty for face to face in yen. Or there's many different things we can do. I mean, we can discuss it with him and see what might work or what might not. But uh, I think it's very interesting because you know. I've been pushing to try and kickstart markets without, like, without having someone ask us for help with it. This is, I think, mm -hmm. an opportunity we cannot let pass because it's actually coming from them. They want to use BISC uh, for the market instead of us wanting the, wanting someone in China or in India to to try it, try it out. So it's, uh, I think, we should take, you know, take the opportunity and try and get something out of it and uh, be generous with the bounties and the rewards. And, you know, if we can get a couple of um, BIS collaborators and contributors from Tokyo, it'd be great. Um, and um, and that's it. By the way, what, what, one thing I do want to mention is that finally I'm seeing like volume and offers in Brazil on a relatively wow. constant basis, which is very cool. Wow, I didn't notice that. Yeah, that's, that's really cool. It, it's not big. I mean, it's like, Four hundred dollars a day, but yeah. you know, it's That's nice to see it there every day. Very nice. Yeah, I think uh, what we said about uh, people coming to us. I mean, people have come to us before, but it was just kind of people, one like individuals. But this is an event with you know, I think a, what seems like a community of people uh, interested. So yeah, I, I fully agree that we should take advantage of this as much as we can. And also, with the Dow Live bounties, actually have utility you know you can give someone bsq and they can use that bsq to actually place trades so i think we should we should try to make uh, make the most of that uh it's a good way to seed bsq around different mm -hmm. communities in the world right so if you have meetup organizers coming up to you by the way this whisk guy i've been i've been following him for a while he's he's a very well i mean I, I don't know him very well, but he's, I'm aware that he's a very well-known guy in the Bitcoin community. So, uh, yeah. you know, his meetup's probably not going to be just uh, three guys <laughs> around the beer. It's, it's probably a bit bigger. Yeah, definitely. I've seen him around too. I wish he was here. We could have uh, more of a conversation. 
But, Plus, uh, well, one last thing. I think it's a great, great opportunity to showcase the fact that unlike local Bitcoins, you can't have face-to-face -face trades being banned from BISC. As, uh, and I think right now, BISC is the only uh, exchange that allows face-to-face -face everywhere in the world. Because even some that do continue to allow face-to-face, -face, like Pax4 or Hodl Hodl, are geofence for the, for the US. Yeah. Uh, and so on. So right now, BISC has the exclusivity. I don't know how, how important that is, but let's play around with it. Certainly. All right, maybe uh, maybe we can direct message him on Twitter and see if he's willing to have a, a conversation sometime so we can get some uh, strategy determined, some consensus on how to proceed. Well, thanks, Felix, for those ideas. I think those are those are great uh, great starting points to to craft a strategy around. Cool. Anything else, folks, would like to add on that topic? The next uh, and last topic we have for today is just an update on the protection mechanisms for um, for payment methods with chargeback. So. Um, Saw a couple of interesting, encouraging pull requests. So we were talking a little bit about this before the call. Um, we have a pull request, uh, work in progress pull request for the uh, for the account signing uh, that just went out, and then we have another one that was made, I think, a little while, a day or two ago, for peer-to-peer uh, -peer chat, which is probably going to be something we implement further down the line. It's still nice to see it uh, approaching readiness. Um, so. Yeah, we we're making progress. I think we we're gonna probably attack this in in stages. So we're gonna start with account signing, and then integrate uh, two-factor account uh, verification, and then uh, weave in the peer-to-peer -peer chat as we uh, as we get it all ready. Um, but yeah, I think the mechanism is fairly well sorted out. It's in issue number ninety-three on the proposals repository. You can check out the details there and further conversation on, on the, the details and nuances of how it's going to be implemented are going to prob probably be discussed there as well. If you'd like to check it out and offer your, your advice or your input. So anything else to add there? Um, no, no, sorry again that I, I didn't have time uh, to, to look into this um, over the last uh, couple of weeks. Uh, but yeah, finally, I did a complete review of the existing source code. It looks um, quite quite good, and uh, I didn't find any issues on that. So at the moment, for the for this first step you mentioned, it's um, mainly um, decisions on the on the UI um, how um, how we want to approach this on, on the long run um, as we as we will release it in in stages, and there might be more and more uh, verification uh, methods in the future. So yeah, uh, I, I will try to to post all um, points that came up uh, during the re review um, probably tomorrow, and yeah, as soon as we have uh, um, kind of a consensus on that, uh, I, I will continue um, with the UI mockup um, um, to see how how it can work, it's also for power users and new users, and yeah, then it's it's it will be straightforward um, uh, to implement it, and yeah. Uh, as I said, we can make it in stages. If we see that um, we progress quite quickly, we can push everything together in, in, into the next release, or we make make a couple of releases with different stages. But yeah, but yeah, it looks quite good. Pretty cool. Looking forward to that. Um, cool. So that's that's all I had on the agenda for today. Uh, anybody have any other comments or, or questions? Uh, Cool. Yeah, cool. just just one one question. Um, prob um, maybe yeah. uh, if, if someone is watching that and who is um, using Grin a lot, so we still have uh, banned the the, the Grin uh, uh, cryptocurrency trading uh, as as there were some issues when we introduced it for the last time on the uh, uh, payment verification and also just on the stability uh, of, of of the wallet solutions. But uh, I think most of the issues should be um, figured out. So if someone from the green community can, can confirm and probably pick up, I think we have an issue on that. Um, if now everything works as expected, uh, we can just lift the ban again 
to enable green trading on, on BISC as well. Just, just to point that out. Cool. All right, I'll wait a, wait a few moments for any other questions or comments to come through, and then uh, call it a day. All right, everyone, thanks for joining. We'll see you back here again next week. Take care. Bye. Bye.